Hello and welcome to a series of NX Admin videos from Sherpa Design. My name is Matt Martin. Today I'm going to cover licensing, the licensing tool again. Um, there's a problem with the licensing tool in previous versions of NX where the licensing tool will not retrieve the bundle information and it will fail. And what will happen is this will crash. Uh, in my particular environment, I've got multiple licenses and multiple license daemons. So that's apparently the reason it's failing. Uh, so there's a way around this. So what I've done is I have NX2406 installed. So I grabbed the information out of the UG Flex LM for 2406. So UG Flex LM. So I grab this file, this file, and this file. And I drop them up on my network. And I drop it in right here. Now, of course, running it from the network, it takes a little bit longer for it to launch. The licensing tool version 2.6.0.0 uh, seems to work out pretty well. So bundle settings, borrowing settings. One thing about this too is if you go into licensing tool dot properties file, you'll find that there are some options in here. Um, so you can disable bundle operations, which would kind of defeat the whole purpose of this tool. Um, you can also uncomment and disable borrowing operations. So this is one way to do it. Um, is I could comment this in, uh, borrowing enabled false, that would not allow borrowing to work. So I don't wanna uncomment it there, get rid of that one, save it. I'll overwrite the file. And borrowing settings aren't there. Here we see two licensing tools running side by side. One has the configuration set to where you can edit the licensing, the license server, and the other one does not. And to look at this again under Vis v Visual Studio Code, I took the uncomment the following property to disable editing of the license server. So this means that my people who are running this licensing tool can't change their licensing server and mess it up. This is all I have for lic the licensing tool in this video. Uh, thanks for attending and have a great day.